Oh no. Well, there we go. Now I'm here. See, like I said, every day, we're just gonna slowly get better, get better and better. <laughs> well, uh, what's up, guys? I don't even. I don't, I don't think you guys could hear anything I said then. Um, that was basically before this. It was uh, me talking about how every day I'm trying to get just slowly better at this whole streaming thing, and then I left you guys on a black screen for like 15, 20 seconds. So. We try, you know, this, the, the suspense is building for sure. That's what you meant by it. Oh man. Yeah, no, that was just me talking to literally no one then. Cause, cause that's how this works. <laughs> um, but yes, another day, another stream. Uh, thanks everyone who, who's in here already. Ooh, ninjalina has got a, a new movie for us. All right. All right. We're going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, Put this over to the side so um i i realized in the last video that one of the when i when i uploaded our last stream wednesday stream to youtube it got flagged for just copyright bullcrap um and so i realized i need to be a little bit more careful about what it is i'm actually showing <laughs> on here i know crazy right who would have thought that youtube copyright system would flag something that we did um let's see it was the audio not the video id it was it was for the uh um actually it was it was when i was i was browsing film beaver and one of the videos i clicked it was like some hans zimmer background soundtrack playing and of course youtube picked up on it uh but that's okay hey it happens it happens uh Colin Trevor did it manually. <laughs> um Sure, that sounds good. Um Let's see. What is this? No, no, I haven't seen I don't I don't think I've seen this movie before. The end of the world. Um Oh yes, yes I have. Yes. It's it's good. It's real solid. <laughs> yes, I remember the end of the world. Yep. It's almost criminal. <laughs> um, but cool. Thanks, guys. Uh, hopefully, hopefully, uh, I don't make any more just egregious mistakes again. Uh, oh, since since last stream, we actually got two more followers. But I guess because it wasn't on during the stream that they followed, I guess they they don't go they don't go towards our little uh, a little counter here. But eh, that's okay. Um, but how's everyone been? How's the week been? It's Friday. Thank God it's Friday. It's been a long week, you know, trying to just chill, get some work done. I imagine today is going to be a slightly more chill stream. Um, I know I do have, uh, of course, obviously we have, I wish there was a way for me to share this with you guys, uh, but I would love to like share my clubhouse. Um, so that you guys could actually see, and I'm sure there is some tool or system I could use to actually share like, the, the tickets and things that I want to make and, and improve and, and you know, so you guys can both follow along, see who it is I do it and, and kind of go from there. Uh, baked potato, it's been pretty good. It's been good. It's, it was, it's been a long week, but uh, not, not long enough because we still have at least a solid two hours of working on Movie Otter to end it, so. You can, but it costs money. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, their their free tier doesn't allow you to have uh, public workspaces. So uh, who knows? Maybe one day. Maybe one day. Oh, by the way, I made a little purchase today that I need to share with you guys. It uh it should be in later this week. I guess I can just display it here, right? That's the whole point of of me having my screen up. I'm making a little purchase because soon, someday soon, I'm gonna have a nice new decoration to put here uh, of, of, of the first, the very first uh, US dollar made by Movie Otter, all right? It's gonna be signed by the person who spent it. Uh, mind you, to get this signed dollar, cost way more than a, not way more than a dollar, but it costs more than a dollar, right? 
all money well worth spent, right? Like there is there is nothing I would have rather done with that money. But I just thought it was ironic that in order to to really cherish the first dollar, I had to spend like just more money. You know, that's just how the world works. <laughs> a dollar bill is going to be on the wall. Yes, yes, it is. Yes, it is. And I'm excited. I don't know if I can put like a hole in this wall, though. Maybe I'll have to get like, I don't know, some command hooks or something. Actually, I think we might have some somewhere around the house, but but I'm excited. I'm excited to put it up. Three, three mil. Oh, man. Jeez. That <laughs> picture for a team. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. I could do that. Oh, 3M. Okay. Gotcha. Oh, God. I was so confused. <laughs> yes. Yes. We do have like those 3M command hooks somewhere. Somewhere. My girlfriend just put stuff up, so I'm sure it's somewhere in a, I don't know, drawer or something. Um, but uh, let's take a quick look here. So I think, I think today there's literally only two things we need to do in order to claim this ticket is complete, right? And once this ticket is complete, then we open up ourselves to all these other smaller, much, much smaller, more manageable tickets. Um, but we really just need to get this whole movie, movie list done, right? Um, and honestly, I, I've not been doing a very good job of tracking a lot of what I did. Um, so like, you know, I, I got like user favorite movies, right? But then in between the favorite movies and actually starting the custom movie list, I just did the watch later list, right? Because it was actually very similar to favorites. But so I didn't actually log that, but I have been making a lot of tickets for a lot of other stuff that uh, just uh, features and bugs and things that I know I just need to do. Um, and I'm excited to get to this list today. The house is held together with command strips and RGB lights. Dude, I I mean, I don't, I don't know if it'll happen. So my birthday is the next month. Uh, my birthday is on the 13th and I should, oh man, I should definitely do like a cool stream. That'd be a fun day to just kind of chill out, right? Maybe watch a movie or something. Um, but my birthday is on the 13th and my girlfriend was asking me like, oh, what do I want? And I was like, ooh, I found, I found. Let me, let me see if I can pull them up here. Uh, if I go to Amazon, I go to my list, right? I think that's where they keep all your information. Okay, give me one second, it'll be worth it. Um, as someone who was not, again, not super into RGB or anything like that before, um, I found what somebody oh okay oh um there we go I found these they're apparently just RGB lights that you put in your RAM slots and I have two open RAM slots and so I asked for these for my birthday so hopefully hopefully come the middle of next month my rig will be just a little bit more colorful, you know? I mean, super, super excited. They're pretty cheap, they're only 40 bucks. I mean, there's like no memory in them. Like they're not RAM, they're just lights. So, um, but cool, that's fun. Uh, does the movie have a built-in movie database or do you, you have to add movie names and covers manually? Um, it, ooh, that is a, that's a, a, a Yes and no. Um, we do have our own database, um, but we are not adding movies. We're not really adding movies manually. Um, so what we're doing is when you go to Movie Otter, right? And say you search for a movie, um, let's see, what should be a cult? Um, uh, what's a movie? Let's search for uh the princess diaries right is that it yeah right okay this movie i i doubt actually for we're on dev so i know no one has imported this movie yet right like nobody's clicked on this movie in movie otter yet and so what happens is when i click it we see it's taken a while to load because the, the movie doesn't actually exist in our own database and so it's then when someone tries to access a movie that doesn't exist yet we try to fetch it we fetch all the data from uh, the movie database.org, which is like just, a, uh, you know, the movie DB, I think it's .org. 
Is it? Yeah, the movie database.org. They have an API. We signed up for it and we have keys and, and functions and everything to uh, then pull in this movie information. And look at that. We ran into this weird thing where the image only gets like halfway downloaded. That's a thing. We have a ticket actually to fix that. So I'm not going to worry about it too much here, but uh, that is how it works. So, but now that, this moves, now, uh, now that this movie has been imported, if we were to refresh, uh, the movie loads way, way faster because now we're just getting it from our like movie outer database and not doing any weird fetching or, you know, grabbing and downloading and everything like that. So uh, it's a little bit of both. Uh, I have dubbed the term lazily populating our database. That is what this whole thing is doing. Maybe from saving, yeah, yeah. I think it's, I think it's like when uh, our Fire Cloud function, Fire Cloud, our Firebase Cloud functions. Man, they really should just call it Fire Cloud functions. That'd be much shorter. Uh, when our functions run and it's trying to download the image from the movie database, I think maybe I need to, I don't know, add like a, a buffer time or something in there or so something to uh, basically make sure that the whole image is finished downloading before we then try to turn around and save it into our own databases. But it is it is a, a fairly minor issue. Like something from the image is saved, which means that at least the process is right. And we do get the title and the description and anything else that we try to pull in. Like all that data is consistently pulled in right. So it's a weird issue with the image. And also I've seen sometimes where like Sometimes it's just also a matter of like the window size that you are at when you first try to do it. It's weird. I don't know. It's it's silly, but um, yes. Oh, dude. Ooh. Okay. I'm gonna get this. Oh, your Valentine's. Oh, your Valentine is dead. That's so sad. But I'm happy that you're here. Thanks for the follow, dude. Uh, another idea, pull data from TMDB directly when viewing that movie page for the first time. So there isn't a delay. Ooh, that's actually smart. That's actually really good. Um, I don't know. I guess in the future, there's a possibility that some of the data we have is going to be not, um, isn't all going to be just in the movie database, but but yeah, no, that's uh, let's make that ticket. Um, let's see. Display the movie database um, movie data while downloading downloading or while importing the movie. This is this is a feature. It's definitely post MVP. But yeah, no, that's good. I like that. He's addicted. Dude, I am addicted. I am so addicted to RGB now. I don't know why. It wasn't even a thing I had before. I didn't know, I guess. That's why. Um, but yeah. So, that's right. This is where we left off. We have... Oh no, what is this? What is this complaining about? Each child should have a unique ID. Alright, fine. That's that's a stupid complaint. Um, we are working on our list page. Uh, we pull in our favorite movies, I think this is. Yes, The Dark Knight, Lion King. These are definitely my favorite movies. Step Up 2 is not one of those movies. I don't know why that's in that list. That must be a bug. Um, but we pulled in our favorite movies. We need to also pull in our Watch Later movies to display on the same page, um, as well as any custom list that we have. And honestly, we need to make them prettier, right? Actually, maybe just show the posters or, you know, I want to do um, something. I want to eventually update the, and maybe I need to just do that now because a page with a lot of lists is going to have this issue pretty quickly. Uh, basically making it like a Netflix style carousel where they, they kind of, you know, you have like a poster here, a poster there, maybe like a part of a poster here that you just scroll uh, horizontally. Um, and it, it, it'll look kind of like that Netflix style, like grid of movies. But uh, for now, we'll probably just just throw them all here and move on. Uh, once again, we'll make it work and then we'll make it better. Um, let's see. Oh, Cerebral, you uh, you didn't do your, you, I made some improvements to things. I added some commands. I don't know if uh, you got around to, to checking that out or, or are interested, but. You know, hey, just just throwing that information out there might 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 be worth your time. You know, um, let's see. We 
are in lists. Nope, wrong list. Lists page. Um, okay, and we had our movies down here. And all we were doing here is just the super thing. Okay. Um, so really, what we could do is actually, instead of having it be that, we could just have a movie list. Um, movie list. No, we need the component. And I think the component is actually, did I, did I move it into our components list? I did. Nice. Okay, cool. I was one step ahead of me already. Um, cool. So we got movie list. I guess it doesn't like that. Oh, it's just, wait, what? How is this never found? Components. Movie list. Oh, it's because it's, it's lowercase. Easy mistake. I don't know why I started naming my files, like my component files with lowercase. That's weird. I shouldn't have done that. I'll, I'll eventually fix it. Again, there's so many things we're going to do once, <laughs> once we are done here. Um, let's see. There's our movies. Uh, and the movies should actually just be favorite movies. Uh, the source should be fine. Everything else actually is optional. Oh, I guess the, the heading, you could say favorited movies. And it doesn't like this, right? What did the name movie ought to come from? Good question. Um, <laughs> uh, I, if I'm being honest, it's, Maybe not my strongest name. <laughs> um, basically, I I had a, a I was working on something like this for I've had this idea at least for months, months, years actually. Like if you really count like just earlier, earlier, smaller iterations of it. Um, back in like college, uh, me and my roommates competed in like these app hackathons, and like one of the hackathons, we actually came up with something that now looking back would be considered um you know like a baby version of movie otter uh, we called it moot it actually ended up being closer to reddit um like it was trying to be reddit r slash movies right like but we didn't know reddit at the time we didn't you know we never heard of it we never used it uh we thought we were just these geniuses who came up with this idea and uh so it wasn't until we um, later found out we graduated, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and then we came back to the idea again at one point. We called it like Cinemate, right? Where it was going to be, you know, the, the whole idea was that like, oh, it's like a friendly app that you download and you use to go to the movies. And, you know, it gives you a bunch of cool information about things, about movies and what's playing or when to go and things like that. Um, had that idea. We worked on it. We we you know thought about it at least and things like that and then also went nowhere uh, and then eventually earlier this year i was like you know what no i think that this is a good idea i want to do something in that vein i need to start more scope down obviously because i'm only one person as opposed to like a group when i was with my roommates and then at least my friend when we were kind of going on the venture together um sorry my <laughs> <laughs> My girlfriend's hooking up the PS3. <laughs> so I don't know if you guys can hear that. Um, and uh, we, uh, I wanted to create something that was like, still had that like kind of friendly nature to every idea has already been had. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Um, I wanted to have something that would be like, like this kind of companion y app. Like I wanted something that would be, uh, make you think of something social, right? Um, but I also wanted it to be somewhat cute, but not like too cutesy. Like I didn't want it to be called like Cinnabuddies, right? Or like anything that when you think of it, you think of like a kawaii style kind of like, you know, characters or animations or anything like that. I wanted it to be clean, I guess. Um, man, it's really, it's really warm in here. Uh, I wanted it to be 
clean and concise. Oh, no worries. Don't worry about the PS3. Um, like a, well, I like a beaver, perhaps. <laughs> yes, yes, except I don't think beavers are friendly. So, all that to say, uh, I was online, I was scrolling through things, and I saw this picture of an otter. And the otter was with another otter, and they were like, holding hands, just kind of like chilling, laying on their back. And I was like, yeah, that looks like a chill animal. Are, are otters like social creatures? Turns out that within their little, you know, families or groups, I don't know what a group of otters is called, uh, but within like a group of otters, they're actually very friendly and social. And, you know, um, and I was like, okay, cool. I like that. I'm gonna go a squad, squad of otters. I hope so, that, that would actually be dope. Um, and so within your little, like within an otter squad, right? They're, they're very friendly and they share and they give each other presents and gifts. And I was like, oh, like this, that's cool. That encompasses the spirit of what it is I'm trying to make. I'm trying to make something where everyone uh, feels comfortable coming together and being friendly and sharing recommendations or movie suggestions or, or getting to like planning to get together and watch something together, right? Just be friendly, be social, but like with the emphasis on your squad. So that, long-winded story is how eventually I ended up with the name Movie Odd. <laughs> um, let's just use boxes. I think it's time we break out the boxes. Totally made up a squad thing, by the way. Well, hey, I mean, it sucks. Um, oh, screen frozen again. No, hopefully, hopefully it is not. Well, it doesn't it doesn't look like it's on my streaming end huh that's really weird hopefully hopefully reset fixes it um why is this complaining oh it's because there's no closing tag so i could have just i didn't actually need these boxes but look at that that is super easy and simple right there boom we have our little a list with our favorite movies. I should have did that last stream. That would that looks way better. Um, that's okay. So we have that. Um, let's also give it a nice title. Um, typography, and let's have typography. Um, your list. And we should probably. I think we actually do make it to where if you're not signed in, then you never see any of this um cool we'll do that you gotta give it a variant because it looks looks real bad right now um let's see let's see let's give this padding of two and a variant of h four let's see what h4 looks like that's a little too big maybe five Maybe we just have to go back down to our set. No, five looks fine. Um, padding two actually might be a little a little too much. Um, let's have padding on the x-axis be two and just that, actually. Okay, yeah, that looks cleaner. That looks a little bit nicer. It's still compact your back, sweet. Um, let's see. Oh, a group of otters has a range of names, including a bevy. Ooh, bevy sounds cool. A family, a lodge, or as their energy levels and antics might suggest, a romp. It's a little spicy. Uh, when in the water, a group of otters is called a raft. That's actually pretty cool. That's that's very cool. We should we should at some point. I'll probably try to integrate some of this some of this language into our like UI and everything like that. I think that could be really cool. Um, but we have our favorite list. Uh, we need to, I have a fail. I have failed to hook up the PS3 through the Elgato. Oh no. What is going on? What, what's happening? Um, let's see. We have this list. We're going to need another list for our watch later movies. And that is actually going to copy the same exact stuff right here. Uh, so we can, in theory, keep it all in the same hook and we can keep it actually almost exactly the same for everything. So we have our favorite movies. Um, we need our, uh, 
watch later watch later movies right uh watch later movies they are not favorite movies they are watch later movies um cool this unsubscribe is gonna be favorites unsubscribe unsubscribe there we go um and i think we can do it like this right and watch later unsubscribe very very verbose with all my uh <laughs> with with all my my function or variable names um cool so favorites unsubscribe is going to be that um this is really favorites collection path okay um and i think we actually need to do something similar to this for our watch later all of this is just going to be copy pasted for now because these are two lists that are hard coded so i am less concerned with uh you know being being super good coding with it now my words are losing me today hey everyone happy friday night nice nice coat chilling i like it i like it seems like a chill day for you um beavers aren't here to be nice and cuddly we're here to kick ass at you bubble gum <laughs> all right what are they the Do doom guy or the duke nukem what is going on um you should keep the buffer just so you can add an otter buffer animation oh that'd be really good um like when viewing an unviewed movie that could be really cute i do want to i would love to so one of my side uh plans is actually to like get better at doing like illustration and, and digital art um i even tried now starting to like pick up uh after effects because i want to like just be able to throw together some you know like the the be right back screen here on stream right like i would love to just make something up in illustrator that is themed right so it has some kind of cohesive design to it um I have to finish giving everything here a cohesive design. But once all that's done, uh, it should be a lot easier. You're making a movie app and you don't recognize that line. What the, I mean, that line's from a lot of different things. It's been used a lot of places. That's Duke Nukem, right? He said it in the one trailer, at least. Uh, watch later, collection path. Let's see. Okay. Um, watch later movie. Hmm. I guess it would be watch later's document path for user that slash uh, watch later movie collection name. Cool. Cool. As always, it's going to be basically copy paste here cool cool watch later unsubscribe is gonna be equal to that we'll go through and fix more of those later um and then this we're gonna return which i didn't do before uh we need to return um favorite movies just calling that no what no Oh, favorite movies unsubscribe. On the why is it not favorite movie? Is it just favorite and unsubscribe? Favorite unsubscribe. This is why. This is this is part of why I need to come up with some better naming convention. Uh, and then watch later unsubscribe. We're also optionally gonna call that whenever we need to clean up. Um, let's see. It came from they live. Oh, and then all those other people just copied it. Well, I didn't know that. You learn something new every day. Um, I hook the PS3 up to the monitor instead. Ah, yes, yes, that will that will do it. Also, Bruce keeps thinking I want to play. She bit me until I picked up the spray bottle. <laughs> no, Bruce is our cat. Bruce is my chunky, chunky girl. She's beautiful in her own special way. She is she is a real big girl. She, she's got a lot of chunk. She's gonna do a lot with all that chunk, all that chunk. Uh, I like to see Kitty on stream. Ooh. I mean, 
Uh, maybe we could maybe we could open the door. It's actually a little warm in here, so I could check out. Um, okay. Well, the door is open. So if and when she she comes in here, I'll pick her up and, and put her on cam. Uh, I'll be the judge of the chunk. <laughs> oh, believe me, she will meet and exceed your wildest uh, expectations for the chunk. So, okay. So we have favorite movies. We have watch later movies. Yes, yes, okay. Um, I don't know. Are they are they set up? I think they're set up with just the user ID. So this should work. Um, as watch later movie data. Yep. Okay. Okay. Watch later movie. Okay. Okay. Set watch later movies. Nope. Watch set watch later movies. Okay. Okay. So far so good. I think we're good. I think we're good. And we're not good. Okay. Can't read something from the to date. Hmm. Mm -mm. Let's see. What is different about watch later? Is the watch later at something with to date? Oh, there she is. No, no. She'll come up eventually. She misses me. She loves me. Um, let's see. I have a little drawing experience on Procreate. Can I try my best to make a new otter? Dude, go for it. That'd be dope. <laughs> no, my friend in Tokyo definitely takes the cake still. She is oh dude, never mind. Yeah. No, once you once you get into any like a any Asian country, their cats are a different breed. They just are just some of the fattest, most adorable kitties ever. Um Okay. This is something's here not working. Okay. Can't read to date of undefined. What? Oh, that's because we're also using the wrong collection pad. Okay, okay. Okay. Will that be better? No, no, it will not. At least not without a refresh. Oh, well, that was better. Okay, cool. That was easy. That was an easy fix. My favorite. Not if your emotes compared to Film Beaver. Oh, God. What? You guys know about this film beaver? It's crazy. It's 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 so insane that that somebody oh, has this thing. I got mine laying on my oh picks or it didn't happen, one dark. Picks or it didn't happen. Um Okay, so we're doing that, we're doing that. I think that means we can watch later movies header. Uh, watch later and yeah boom and then we get this list here too nice this is so easy this is so cool um what I actually want to do is because we have the information here in our in our watch later uh, let's let's throw the count in here as well um favorite movies dot length and this obviously isn't going to be what we can do later on like once we paginate like add pagination and things like that then some of these counts are going to have to change but for now because we're lazy and how we're lazy and inefficient in how we are handling our movie lists we can totally just do this watch later movies dot length and now we get a cool count next to how many you've you've watched you you've put everywhere oh let's see let's see this picture we got a picture of the chunk we have a picture let's see <laughs> you think a little text will change the truth what do you mean change the truth there's no changing the truth it's just what it is 
Oh, can I show this one dart? Oh, they look really soft. Oh, they look really soft. The film be reverse is very King Julian. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. Is that was? I feel like he was not a a, a great man. My my words, my idea, me first. <laughs> this is, this is. Let's open the original. Oh, too big, too big. No. Oh, look at this cat. It looked like they would be very very soft. I do not know King Julian. No, I, I, let's, let's see. King Julian, Julian, there you go. And is this, oh, all hell. All right. Well, there's a, a movie about him. So, I mean, I can at least watch this. Oh, yes. The, I do know King, King Julian. Yes. Okay. I was very confused. I was like, wait, was I've never heard about him like in history class who was he before or after caesar like what what was going on here <laughs> yes i i love that character cat so chunk cat fit the screen <laughs> yes she is so or, or he i don't know what this cat's name is but they were so chunk they couldn't fit on the screen um <laughs> I know, I'm sorry. That's actually, a, that's a movie I need to watch again, Madagascar. Weren't there sequels? Weren't there like three Madagascar movies? Madagascar, yeah, three. Jeez, man, all right. That's that's crazy. Um, Cool, we very easily got these two lists in here. Um, and then I'm actually gonna, gonna ugly, very, 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 uh, ugly Lee very not prettily uh just throw in our list of lists let's see let's see what is this chunk cat js oh no chunk cat js oh well I mean there's there's at least a a Twitter account for it where it's just all, all chunky cats Oh man, that'd be really good. Do we have a movie on our Discord yet? No, no, we we actually should do that. That'd be pretty cool. That would actually help a lot too when, when we do like watch parties and everything. Turn down for what? <laughs> Why is there an MVM package? Turn down for what? <laughs> what in the world does <laughs> this Make your website wait for that epic beat drop. Oh my God, no. There's no way. What does this read me have you do? For example, personal website. Actually, let me not play this. No, hold on. I, I, I'm. Contra code. All right. Oh, all right. I will. I will do it. But I'm gonna mute this tab because again, we gotten some weird copyrighty things before. Uh, up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right. B A. I guess enter. Ah. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my God. This is great. This is great. This is actually really cool. <laughs> oh my God. It gets even crazier. <laughs> oh my God, this is nuts. This gets nuts, this gets insane. Yeah, I forgot how crazy that video is. Oh my gosh. I forgot how crazy that is. That's that's a high impact MPS, MPM package. Yes, yes it is. That is that is a superb superb one. Um. Okay. Do we do we already have our list here? No, we don't. Okay, we gotta get our list. Let's let's just. I mean, we're already here. Let's just uh, use our list. 
set user list. Um, movie list. Okay. And hey, you know what we're gonna do? User list unsubscribe. We're gonna keep going with all this same stuff. Um, let's see, we have user list collection path, which I shouldn't need to do this because user list is a newer model. And so it should actually exist already. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, user list unsubscribe equals this, yada, yada, yada. Movie otter, uh, movie list dot collection path yeah there we go wait I guess it is a function okay that's fine it could be a function um Konami code is cool for Easter eggs it is yeah something on uh, movie audit where people enter certain specific movie lines in the search they get some Easter eggs oh dude that'd be really cool it's such a good idea okay um ooh, add Easter eggs um, let's see, searching certain movie lines, uh, let's see, we'll, we'll create this, oh, this is definitely, don't, don't worry, code, this is definitely a post-MVP thing, but I do like that, mo Esther eggs, oh, that's what you were, that's what you were making fun of me for, wait, no, that is the same, it's just, it's just, I just didn't capitalize it right. Um, but yes, so as we come up with more ideas, I'm definitely gonna log these. That'd be cool. That'd be cool. That'd be really dope. How's the typing going? Uh, fat fingers. Fat fingers all around. Good old Esther eggs. <laughs> yep, good old Esther eggs, you know. Old, old grandma Esther. Yeah. Uh, I think instead of user id though it's creator id pretty sure it's creator id um timestamps sure i don't know if there's any timestamps actually though but uh movie list oh do i oh no 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 i movie list that's why i started naming it uh with that okay yep yep and then here we have, we're gonna make a movie list from the document. That's data. We're gonna set user list to, and this is gonna be list, to list. Okay, so far so good. Nope, so far not so good. Oh no, what, what happened, what do? Cannot read property to date of undefined? Hmm. Why is, what did I do? I did something somewhere in here that broke things. Let's, let's console.log the snapshot. Um, snap, snapshot, snapshot, boom. Let's see. Uh, you'll get the hang of it. Just got to keep on practicing. Yeah, it's it's better. It is definitely better. Um, it. I I find that if I don't if I don't like actively consciously try to use you know the home row and things like that, I just default back to my like three finger typing pattern. Um, so I try to be a little bit more mindful about that. Infinity snap. Oh my god! Please tell me he just makes a whole bunch of just great npm packages that are full filled but like just pop pop culture references because that would be amazing i would thoroughly enjoy that um uh, okay here's our snap whoa okay okay we have our docs it's an array of two okay that's right um our doc data oh maybe i should do it here. Let's see. Let's see. Console.log 
dot dot data. Doesn't I don't even care about about the uh, what do you call it? The IDs or anything like that. Like readability of it. I just want to see what's happening. So refresh. Oh, something's not happy. Okay. Oh, why is it getting back? That's weird. Oh, because I logged the snap here. Okay, so the snap is still that, but this is one of the datas. It's created at is, yeah, the created at is definitely the Firebase timestamp. So why, why doesn't it like that? Created at, updated at, recently added is a thing. Oh, that's right, recently added isn't working, but that's fine, neither is count. We'll fix that in a second. Um, title and description. And then this one is our Star Wars movies. Okay. This one also has a broken. Yep. Okay. Cool. That's fine. That's all fine. It's a matter of trying to figure out why. Why doesn't it like this created at? You cannot read property created at of undefined. What? Where are you getting undefined from? That's the real question here. Okay. Let's see. So I think maybe the better thing to do. Hmm. Maybe it's not from. No, it's definitely from document. And it's this data. Why? Why is it being so weird? This movie list is that date. Hmm. <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, I don't look at the guys out there. Uh, delete hacker project files. Perfectly palettes. It's all things should be. No, no. Don't ever download that. Don't even think about it. That is just going to be a hassle and a half to, to go through. That sounds like terrible work. But, I mean, it's a necessary evil, I guess, right? Now I'm just thinking of like dumb, nerdy programmer ways that we could incorporate like the whole Infinity Saga into things. Like if like six different developers all programmed something that was like a stone and then somebody made like the gauntlet NPM package and you had to import it, like depended on all those packages and then it did something cool whenever you ran it. I don't know, that'd be, that'd be kind of cool. Ride or die was legit. What is ride or die? What do I do? I want to know what ride or die? Right? No, not in here. That's not gonna tell me anything. Ride or die. Oh. All right. Oh, okay. It's a cool. Oh, I assume it's like a web based motivation. You get your ride more faster. Oh, okay. Cool. I have to check it out. Sounds dope. Uh, why? Okay. Okay. Console.log. We can get rid of the snap. This is this is stupid. Um, but in this one, let's have list data. Uh with no not list. Um also that would be movie data. No, 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 not not that. Not all those. Um this would be list datas. And let's console log list datas man i hope no one ever has to come behind me and read any of this in its current state i'm somewhat embarrassed that you guys have to see this that's okay that's okay i trust that you guys won't make fun of me too bad except for pat he'll do it oh okay what why so that one's fine that one's fine. Why was it complaining before? Did, did I just typo something weird? That's my job to make fun of you. Yeah, unfortunately. Unfortunately. Okay, well, it seems to be working now. I don't, maybe I just didn't save. I don't know. Who knows what any of this stuff. Why some of these things happen the way they do. Why are you the way that you are? Um. Okay, and then 
Now, underneath here, we need to map over our lists, lists, user lists, user lists, user lists dot map. Um, and for each list, we're basically gonna return one of these movie lists. Movie lists. Um, movies is gonna be uh, the list dot recently added. The header is gonna be, let's see, the uh, list that title, and then in parentheses, the list dot count. I think that's gonna, list is empty, list is empty. Okay, technically, technically that's working. Which is good. Um, okay, we have a very, very, very uh, simple and probably not very correct or not very like useful version of this page. Oh, heading. That would help. Because at least now we can see. Okay, cool. We have an unnamed list. That's real, real, real important. Um, but that's something. Okay, okay. So now the real question or the real, the next problem we have to solve is trying to figure out why does, actually we should make these headings clickable. We'll do that later. That's a, that's a later thing. Um, why is this information not updating correctly? Why when you add a movie, does the trigger not function? You know what? I wonder, did I even, did I deploy my functions? Did I do all that work and then never actually deployed it? Um, on, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's probably why it's not working. I don't think I actually deployed those lists. We have on movie favorite, unfavorite, on watch, on unwatch. We don't have on list add or list creation or any of those list functions. So maybe this is gonna be an easier fix than I thought. Maybe, just maybe. Um, in order to do that, first let's, uh, I guess we gotta open up a new, new terminal connection window tab thing. Um, let's see, CD into our serverless functions. Um, and then, whoa, what did, what did control L just do? Did I just, is that how you clear in Z shell? <gasps> I just learned something new. Hell yeah. Um, cool. Thanks fat fingers. You teach me something new today. Um, you type clear. <laughs> yep. That's well, no. Yeah. 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 So I know that clear does that. I didn't type clear just now. I type, I hit command L. So if I do this, command L is the same as clear. I didn't know that. Now I can save a few, a few keystrokes. Um, okay. Let's see. I have this. Let's, let's collapse all this stuff. Go on our server list, go on our functions, go on our source. We have lists here on movie list creation, on movie list deletion, update movie list data, which technically I'm not using, so I don't even know if I really need this. Um, let me double check. Yep, I don't even use this, so let's actually just comment. Oh yeah, this is a big boy. This is a big boy here. Um, let's see. Cool, just comment that out for now. Uh, on movie list movie added on movie list movie removed yeah I think I think for now that is all we're gonna do because everything else we're just straight up updating um, and on an update we don't need to do anything special so let's deploy um, I think I actually need to go back and then npm run deploy 
dev. This should build all our functions. It's clear. It is it the same? No, it's not. What what is the difference? Is oh wait, is command L like the kind of clear that actually like removes your type history? And and when you type clear, all it does is basically like adjust the window, the lines displayed in the window. I don't remember being really confused about there being two different clears. And I, I, I still don't exactly know why. Um, haha. Okay. One issue I see here is that we have all this stuff, but we, we don't even, we don't import it or export it here. So we need to export everything from lists. That I think was our issue before. Now let's try deploy dev again. We should see all our functions here. It's giving us some stupid warnings about stuff we don't care about. Yeah, all of these. Whoa, what? The request is error. Fail to create function. Why did it fail? HTTP error 400. What? How? Control it, does it? Oh, oh okay. Oh, that's, that's pretty, pretty useful. I didn't know that. Why is it saying the request has errors? Okay. Well, it's not telling me what errors. That's not very helpful. Um, I also don't see any errors with these. I've never seen that, that before. Let's see. Why? Why, 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 why? Um, decrement. That's fine. That's fine. I don't know what the errors would be. Why is it being a jerk? So on system system. Yeah. So on some systems, it works. But if you tell someone else that they can do it, it may not work for them. Gotcha. Okay. Sounds like I should stick with uh, jet functions. But what's the error? It's not helpful just telling me you had an error. Maybe they'll be in here. Okay. Mm. This, this is not helpful. Permission, cloud functions, func, resource name, that. Hmm. Oh, invalid argument. Authentication ID. Did I not? Hold on. Did I not log into Firebase? Already logged in. So then what? So then why? Why are you having an issue? Why are you being weird? All right, let's copy this into JSON formatter because it's real hard to read as is. Okay, audit log, code, invalid argument. What, how is any of this an invalid argument? Um, functions create, granted, true. The resource name is the function. Entry point is that, deployment to that, okay, okay. Oh, <laughs> okay, that's why. It's, it's, uh, 
I tried to get fancy with my document path stuff up here, and I think that. Uh, oh, I think this actually needs to pull in the latest changes. So if we, if we, dude, this is like the best website for formatting JSON. <laughs> and if I, I think, I think I read somewhere that there's like a Chrome extension. Uh, or maybe maybe it was on here even I don't remember but I think there's just like a Chrome extension even where you can just click it and then paste it right in the extension and it formats and displays for you but I haven't actually taken the time to really look into that um okay I think this is using an old version of our module which was incorrectly uh, npm up update which was returning a function instead of a string in an older version. So I think that was it, I think. We'll see. Uh, all right, well, then, I mean, there's at least a newer version, so that's that's a good sign. <laughs> oh man, it's so silly. I guess they do tell you what the issue is. Um, okay, okay, now. We go back and try to deploy dev again hopefully now now that we got the latest and greatest come on fingers crossed you can do it you can do it i believe in you i think that's good we there's no errors so that is that is good news it's gotten this far json view Oh, is that what it's called? No, not JSON viewer. JSON view. Google Chrome. Oh. Hmm. Oh, they even give you like errors and stuff. Oh, I don't I don't like this that when you hover over one of these things it, it switches to it. I would rather it requires a click or something. Um Oh, but this gives you like formatting errors and everything like that. That's cool. That's cool. Okay. Okay. Yeah, maybe I gotta do it. There's a lot of format. Yeah, I imagine. That's actually a good point. There's, ooh, you probably trip over them, actually. Sweet. Our function's deployed. Um, if we go here now, we go to our dashboard, we should see our movie list deletion and movie list added and movie list remove and where is it? Movie list creation. Cool. So all our functions should now be up in there. Um, let's let's do this. Let's go to our database. Um, let's go to our list. This one. Let's rename this really quick to uh, test and test description. Okay, technically if I go back here, boom, that says test, which it should. Um, but if I add a movie now, if I, oh, I don't have an easy way to add a movie <laughs> because these aren't clickable. <laughs> oh man, oh, it's like every time there's just another thing to do. Um, let's see, let's see. What can, how can we easily fix this um so if you go to our list page i actually think in movie list there's the on click this is source hmm i guess for for simplicity for ease right maybe we should have like a header button heading uh and I don't know how to, I don't wanna, I don't wanna make it, you know what? What's the motto? Make it work, then make it better. We're just gonna have a heading on click or heading on click that returns a void. And we'll even give it a heading on click text that is string. Okay. Let's see. So if we have heading on click, uh, 
heading on click text. Um, okay, okay, so far so good. Where's our heading? Here's our heading. Our heading might need to become a box. Because everything has to be a box. Um, actually, I think the container is already a box, but just to, just to make it just to make it simple. Um, oh, so I guess this now actually comes. Uh, so we need to make this for ease. Nope, we're gonna we're gonna make it work and we're gonna make it better. I'm actually already tripping over myself. Okay, if if you gave us a heading or you gave us a heading on click. Um, then we are gonna, we are gonna display this, right? Hear me out, hear me out. It's gonna, it's gonna work, it's gonna work. You have to believe, you have to believe. Um, this box is garbage. Get get that box out of here. Okay, this whole thing is a box. Um, here we can say a button or no, sorry, on click heading on click and uh, a button. We'll import button. We already did. Cool. In here, we'll say heading on click text or um, what's a good default text? Like when you have a list and you don't have anything, maybe they both need to be, maybe they both need to exist. And heading on click text. Sure, we'll just make it so they both need to exist. Easy, easy enough. Um, okay. So, in theory, before we even hook up or see what this button does, let's just uh, heading on click. Okay, so all that comes in. These don't look any different, which they shouldn't, which is great. Um, this box needs to be, I think it should already be display fed. We'll, we'll, we'll display one and then we'll, we'll jump into the, uh, what is it, web dev tools and actually figure out what styles we need. But in this list, uh, here we have heading on click equals console log butts okay and then heading on click heading head on <laughs> oh my god heading on click text equals butts okay okay so it is on a new line that is not what we want so display flex that should improve it Okay, okay. And then we have, oh man, is it, is it a line item space between? Space between? I think it's a line item space between. Nope, it is not a line item. Is it a line, is it justified content? I think it actually might be justified content. No, not even justified. All right, well, we're, let's just, let's just jump in here. I don't have this time. Let's see. Oh, well that didn't even, didn't even go, didn't even show. Uh, is it justify? Yeah, justify content, space, oh, space between. A little underscore, underscore. There we go, beautiful, beautiful. Um, color for these buttons. It's gonna be primary uh, size. It's gonna be small 
variant variant it's gonna be contained is that it yeah these buttons still look for small buttons these are very very large small buttons that still bothers me i don't know why i don't know why they're so big but it is the way it is um cool and again these don't look any different they both still look just fine which is exactly what we want um let's see i guess in theory we should test that not passing in a heading also does the same yeah see this is how these buttons should look oh you know what maybe i need to wrap them in a div oh man that might be it holy crap i think i just fixed it i just solved it so if i just take take this i wrap it in a box you know our good old boxes um no stop stop get up is that oh my gosh dude that fixes it ah uh, i ran into this issue somewhere else but i don't remember where and i never fixed it i think it was actually on the list screen yeah this ad movie um oof, what is that list page list list uh singular list singular list page here we go add movie okay if we wrap this in a box that fixes it man man what do you know look at that heck yeah honestly i feel like we've used this enough that this should probably become its own component like its own little header component that way all our headers look the same they all function the same they all share the same function like functionality um again this is all all gonna be uh here let's let's do this man I, yeah this is this is literally <laughs> exactly what i did <laughs> would you look at that okay uh, let's write a to do. Actually, that's not how you write to do's when you're in a component. It needs to be this uh, to do. Um, refactor heading into separate component to be shared. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Man, it's crazy. It's crazy. Okay. So we go back to our list. We can see all of our lists. Sometimes you have to scroll a little bit, but that's okay. We'll fix that and we'll fix that later. Uh, and then we have butts. You click on butts and you get butts in, in the console, butts all around. Okay. Now that we got butts, we need to make it not butts. Now that we got butts, we need to make it not butts. Okay. So instead of this, we're gonna navigate Oh, do I not import navigate already? Oh, I guess not. Um, import from Gatsby? I think it's Gatsby, I think it's Gatsby. Navigate, boom. Butts all around, yeah. Butts, as far as the eye can see. Um, okay, so when we click on this button, and this is gonna say edit. Uh, we need to navigate to. Mm. Ooh, is is it a? Uh... I actually don't know if it's. Um, what is it? What's it called? Relational? I don't think it's relational. Maybe it is relational links. I forget what it's called. Where it's like from where you are, not from. Anyways, uh, slash list slash let's see these need to be back ticks so that we can say uh list dot list id slash edit okay so now if i click this boom i get taken here which is exactly what i want i can go back cool i can edit the star wars one cool and that loads hell yeah 
Hell yeah. Okay. We're doing great so far. Okay, let's now go to test because we need to test and see if our cloud functions are working. Let's try to add a movie. First, I guess let's, uh, this is gonna be, I guess it's fine, this will be a test still. Uh, what's a movie? What's a movie? The uh, otters. Butts all around. <laughs> oh, okay. Do unto otters. Hmm. Sea otters, a million dollar baby. I am so very confused as to what that is. <laughs> um. Hmm. Okay. Um. Maybe just otter. Saving otter 501. Man, none of these look, look cool. I don't want any of these. Let's let's do something more random then. Uh, South Park. Here's the South Park. There you go. Bigger, longer, and uncut. I want to add this to this movie. So we're loading this movie. Yeah, here is where we could show the cool, cute otter animation. I think that'd be dope. Um, so now we can let's actually bring this uh, next to it over here so that we can properly test. So this is this. This is this test one. Cool. Um, when I hit save, not only should this movie be added, but it should also be, uh, what's, what's, what is it? It should increment this count. And it should also be added to the recently added list here. Okay. Whew. What happens? What happens? Yeah, that worked. Holy crap. It did it. It actually did the thing. <laughs> so if I go back to list, I scroll down, we got a test with one, and we have that movie. Oh my God. That feels good. That feels really good. Uh, we can't remove it yet because that's not a thing. Um, that should be what we include next. Man, we are, we are. This is another banger day, all right? Just straight productivity through the roof right now. We're fixing everything, we're connecting things, we're making everything work. I like this, I'm pumped. I'm psyched. Um, let's see here. Uh, well, I guess let's just add one to Star Wars. I'm curious to see what happens. Cause this is already incorrect. Like the, the count and everything is off. There's no recently added. Um, let's see, Star Wars Rogue One. Hot Rogue One. Okay, that's added to the beginning. If I hit save, this should only increment one and it's probably only gonna have the one movie in there. Yeah. Okay, that's not, not the end of the world. Um, it has all these movies here, but none of them are actually being accounted for, uh, which is fine, which is fine. Oh, you know what? I think I need to fix this button too. Um, yeah, I need to fix that button too. All right, let's fix that really quick. That is on the list page. Find, let's just find all the buttons. There's a button here. Oh, this one has a padding bottom, so maybe it, wait, why does this have a padding bottom? I think that was from, from before. That one might've just inadvertently already been fixed. Okay, cool. Um, Find, no, I wanna find buttons. I wanna find button tags. How about that? How is there no, oh, okay. Button, button, this needs box around it. Somebody help me. Okay, it shrunk a little bit. Okay, we fixed that. Cool, cool. Um, box, box, box. Okay, all of our buttons are boxed now. That's good. That's great. Um, let's see. Let's see here. What can we do next? Removing movies. 
It's kind of important. Maybe we should add that functionality in. So how do you guys envision removing a movie? Um, I'm thinking when you, I'm thinking our movie poster needs to maybe be a little bit more flexible in that, and what we put up here. That's what I'm, that's what I'm leaning towards at least. Because really once it's here, like once you have, once it's in a list, like that in, in every situation, every situation isn't gonna call for you to be able to add a movie to a list or anything like that. Oh, that's another thing. We also need to add um, three dots thing, delete button in the menu, the current design or an edit button. Well, so yeah, so like when you hit edit, so I imagine um, when you're not editing, right? You are just viewing a list, uh, these movies, should I guess they could be here because in theory I could be viewing someone else's list and I would want to be able to like click in this and then edit these just fine uh, but when you edit yeah, when you are editing a movie I imagine adding these to, like I imagine this should maybe just be an X like a red X in the same design right similar everything like that aesthetics and everything cool within the color palette all that good jazz but I think when you are editing a list, the only option for a movie in that list should be, at least for now, maybe we'll add like reorder or something later, but for now it should just be delete, removing it. I, I'm gonna, I, I think I like that. I think I like that. Okay. Um, ooh, movie poster. This, this component, oh, really, really wrong file. Movie poster. This file is getting really wild. There's so much logic in this file. I am very excited to break this up. <laughs> very, very excited to break this up. Um, well, we can get rid of some things, right? Uh, oh, the other thing. I wanted to say remove. I guess unfavorite is fine here. Where is the watch later? Uh, what's the, I was trying to think of, maybe I did this off screen. Uh, what's the opposite of watching later something? Like I have a movie that I watched later. What is the, the opposite action to that? I was thinking maybe I could just have it when you hover over it, it just says remove. And when you hover over the, you know, the favorites button, it just says unfavorite. Um, Maybe, maybe, yeah, remove. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, another idea, you can put in a bulleted list what you liked and another list for what you didn't like about each movie you can edit. Ooh, friends can see what you put. I like that. I like that. All right, all right. Um, let's see, let's see. Um, list, um, well. Uh, I guess that would be like a, I think, I think, I think both of you guys' ideas, uh, Big Potato and Jedi, I think yours would actually go together. So, uh, your recently watched is a list, like another sort of hard coded list that I'm going to eventually add to every account that just, again, keeps track of what movie you watched when and that way you'll be able to go through, see your history. We could do like cool end of year things, right? Where it's like, Hey, throughout 2020, you know, 70% of the movies you watch were comedies and featured this actor or were by this producer and stuff like that. Um, I think being able to do that stuff would be really cool. But I think um, I think I would only want to collect your pros and cons for a movie that you watched, right? Um, else then you're just kind of like going around just talking crap about a movie or praising it, I guess. But it's not, it's unwarranted, right? At least with this, it could be like, okay, you claim that you watched it. Here's your pros and cons, or you know, your pluses or minuses, or, or bullets and dashes, whatever it ends up being. Um, but there is, let's see, recently watched list. Um, users should be able to track movies they recently watched. Um, 
users should be able to leave short uh, pros, cons to the movie. Cool, I like that. Uh, we'll just throw it in the post MVP bucket for now. Post MVP ep epic. We'll save it. Okay, I like that. Recently watched. Movie Otter is worried about their viewers. Someone watched Shrek 367 times last year. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, that would be that would be amazing. I would love to have like highlights for random things like that. Like, oh, Joe Schmo just watched all you know, all the Lord of the Rings extended versions back to back in 24 hours. Is that possible? You can't do it in 24 hours, right? Yeah, they're like three and a half hours long, and there's only three of them in the Lord of the Rings. Um, see nothing wrong with this. <laughs> oh, Pat. Um, yeah, Spotify did that. Uh, Apple Music, of course, jumped on that bandwagon, did it as well. Fa Facebook was like the original, right? They're like year in review things. Or maybe not original, but like was one of the earlier ones that I can think of. It's the person who listened to, I'm sorry, 82 times in one day. <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> what are you going through? Do you need help? <laughs> oh, they had literal ads based on it? That's, that's funny. That's so good. Oh man. All right, we're getting a lot of great ideas here. <laughs> So many great ideas. Um, okay, we're moving. That is what we're at. Let's see here. Um, all right, let's let's do this. Export type uh, movie poster action. We'll have uh, menu or remove. All right, uh, maybe delete. X is usually more delete than remove. At least that's what I think about it. Um, cool. So let's see. So we have our props, right? We have action, uh, which is gonna be a movie poster action. Uh, we have our action which is going to default to menu, but it could be delete. A user could totally pass and delete. No problem. We wouldn't worry about it. Um, oh, what is this? Oh, oh my gosh, that's so good. Oh man, these are really good. Extreme bad liar eight six times the day shows inside. Oh my god, that's really good. That's really good marketing. That is still some really good ads. Uh, another idea like that, something like Spotify Wrapped, where every year you get a page that shows a timeline of your year, Ooh. movies you like most, new genres you got into, most disliked movie of the year, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I like that idea. I like that. That's good. Um, Let's see, maybe year in review? Or or I, I would honestly I would love to just also do just like basic stats, like um uh bookly, right? That's like a similar they, they, they do a similar thing. It's like a book tracking app where like you know avid readers can track what they read, they can see how fast they read, they can see, you know, the kind of genres they like and things like that. It's it's they give you all sorts of stats. Um I would love to even just have that as like a overall feature, right? I think that'd be pretty dope. Um, let's see, provide users, users with an overall view of their year stat wise. Um, the, let's see, uh, most, let's see, most viewed movie, Highest rated um, genres they got into, you know, etc. Stuff like that. 
stat generated award season that would actually be cool oh that would be really good like to have like again like we we create our oddies right and to have you know the oddies both be like a cast your vote thing but then also like if we have the data just see what like the best comedy is like what comedy got hot, the most highly rated across like users you know um you know the numbers say this movie should have won but really it was this other movie i, I think that'd be cool um let's see post mvp yeah post mvp is where a lot of this new fun stuff i think can really start getting in uh when i was nine i actually watched teenage Mutant Ninja turtles 17 times back to back oh my god are are you okay ninja do you do you need help do you need a hug <laughs> um let's see uh does anyone else have a fear that every link to click on is gonna be an iv grabber oh man i uh there's i couldn't live like that i probably should be more cautious we have like you know these security trainings and things all at work about like oh don't you know plug random usb drives into your computer or don't accept random fishy looking emails or downloads and i'm like huh you obviously never tried to debug an issue when you go in the stack overflow you will click literally anything if someone says this helped and they can post a link we're in the url that says this is a virus you better believe that thing's gonna get clicked by the vast majority of people <laughs> all right especially if it's that one problem and no one seems to have an answer for it honestly Hackers and spammers, they're, they're messing out, all right? They should be on Stack Overflow replying to some of these unanswered questions with just like random solution links, you know? That's how you really get people. Um, let people cast their votes, but then also have the stats to collect the actual data. Yeah, 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 yeah. that'd be cool. Popular vote versus data. Yeah, that, that's another way to look at it. Um. We were at our winter cabin. Ooh, Mr. Fancy Pants over here got a winter cabin. Um, and it was like, let my sister watch Newsies or my dad watch Lonesome Dove. I don't know either of those. I don't know if I want to know either of those. I assume movies. Lonesome Dove. Is your dad okay? Is he feeling okay? Oh. Okay, Newsies. All right, well, okay, let's, uh, let's, I love Christian Bale. So he's got, oh no, oh no. I backtraced everything. <laughs> when I did the, the link forwarding fix, <laughs> this is, this guy's, this is why you should always be careful about what you're pushing. Um, well, you know what? I think there's a I think there's an easy fix for that. We could let's try this, guys. Let's see if this works. I accidentally pushed over um, the old build that I had, but we're supposed to be able to do a redeploy. So how do I click the redeploy? Rollback. If I hit rollback. We are rolling back to this hash. All this did, the only difference between this and this should have been um, the, what do you call it? The uh, login, instead of using a pop-up, it uses a redirect. Um, so totally fine. This was rolled back. This is, oh, that's cool. This is originally deployed then. It was rolled back now. Sweet. Okay, so now. How fast? Man, that's fast. That's damn fast. All right. Rollback's done. Um, Okay, I can search for, what was the Newsies? Newsies. Man, Firebase Hosting's uh, one-click rollback really is extremely easy. That is, that is very surprising. Um, Newsies, huh? You know what I also want to put on here? I would love, so again, I, I want to work on like a movie otter mascot, right? Like with the logo or, or you know, for emotes, for everything like that. Um, do you guys know the one 
It's a GIF, but I don't know where it's from. I couldn't tell you where to get it. Uh, it's like the one otter who's like holding a fish and he's like dancing. I would love to have that, like a, that be like a sort of loading animation that I could use. I think that'd be, that'd be super dope. Um, Newsies is legit. It's actually good. Uh, but I ain't letting my older sister in her middle school watch it back to back to back. <laughs> no, no. On your repo when I had you click that. And you <laughs> no. See, you got me. That that's how easy it would be. It really would. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Oh, I'll have this to watch later. That sounds dope. Um, cool. I wanted to make sure I was on Movie Otter and not in my dev database because obviously that is very, very different things. Um, not gonna click that soda. We just talked about how, how, oh, wait, no, is this it? Yeah, that's it. That's the thing. Oh, sorry, I scared you. <laughs> yeah, this is the gift. This is exactly what I want. I want whatever, whatever uh, logo or, or, you know, mascot, whatever you want to call it that I come up with. I want to... I want to use that that for. I want to use this little stupid dance animation. It's so stupid. Look at it. It's so adorable. Oh man, I love it. I love it. I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna save as for reference. Um, let's go into our sort later folder. Sweet. Thank you for that. Also, I need to get backblaze. I know I, I told you this before. I need to get backblaze so I can just host a lot of images and stuff. Um, let's see. What are your stream dates and times again? Great question, Big Potato. Uh, I, uh, I will have that done soon. And I'm not sure if it will be done before I have to go soon. Oh, dude, no worries. Um, I, man, I, I need to make a command for that. That's a, that's a good one to, to make. It. Anyways, my <laughs> stream times are Monday, Wednesday, Friday, uh, starting at 8 p.m. Pacific time. Um, I generally stream anywhere from two to three hours, depending on the day, depending on what happens. If we get like raided and there's like a lot of new people, you know, we, we try to go a little bit longer and make sure everyone feels welcome. Uh, or if I'm just really struggling with a problem, we might go a little bit longer because I need the time to just work through it, churn through it, uh, get feedback from you guys on solutions and things that I can do uh, if we run into any design problems. There's a whole bunch of reasons that could cause a stream to go a little bit longer. Um, but Generally, I'm trying to get back on track and starting at eight on the dot, but obviously I'm not gonna gonna always say that. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, generally, I always go longer than 10. <laughs> um, but I try not to go, I definitely don't go longer than like 11, unless it's like something crazy, right? Like we did one day where my friend Quasi jumped in and we were streaming in our cool down and we were playing his game. We actually played for a long time. Uh, that was fun, but generally Monday, Wednesday, Friday, eight o'clock p.m. Central Pacific, not Central, eight p.m. Pacific. <laughs> what time zone am I? What year is it? Oh man, man, it's this whole home isolation thing has not been good for my my just sense of time, sense of being. Um. Well, I said it was his game. Pat was also there. There were also random strangers. We had someone jump in. All right, I'm not trying to leave you out there in the cold, Pat. You know you're my fave. You know you're one of my, my bestest buddies. We go way back, you know? We had a podcast together. We might be starting a new podcast together. There's so many things. Um, Cool. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> um, Removing. That's what I was working on. Okay. Uh, I got that added. Cool. We're in here now. We have this action. That's menu. Okay. Let's see. I think we should actually. Hmm. This is probably gonna be a little weird. But let's have a uh, poster action equals. Uh, oh no, you can't you can't do a switch statement. Well, there's only two options. So equals uh, action equals menu. Uh, if it's menu, we'll do what we currently have down there. Else, we'll make something new. Um, let's see. 
let's see where's our fab fab starts here oh our fab is this whole thing here okay cool cool i guess none should also be an action right yeah maybe maybe we do need none because that would actually simplify things a bit okay so we added none as an action uh, which means we probably do need to make this a switch. Yeah. Uh, movie po poster action. Uh, let's see, switch action. Paste. Uh, menu. Let's see, poster action equals something. Great. Let's see, case. Delete poster action equals something break and then default uh, poster action equals nothing. Oh, is it not gonna like that? Oh, it should be. Do I not have React Node in here? No, I don't. Uh, React, it's not element, it's node, node, let's see, so poster action, is it React, no. oh, it's because it's const, let, there we go, what, it doesn't like this? Actually, I can just say no. Equals no. Um, cool. Okay, so far so good. Let's take this whole thing. This is our menu. And it's a little long. But that's okay. Uh, our menu. Plop that in there. Let's actually also plop in this. And this popover we can just get rid of. Which means we can actually get rid of that fragment because we're not going to need it. Uh, color is going to be... Whoa, what just happened? Color is going to be... It's not secondary. It's not primary. Oh, man. I guess... Uh, I, mean, I guess I can make it secondary for now. Secondary... That's, that's weird, I'll have to fix that. Okay, size is still gonna be small. Um, on click. Ooh. Um, I guess we need an on delete. On delete. That is function that returns void. Uh, the on is gonna be drinking from a coconut? Oh, dude, that sounds awesome. That sounds really cool. I don't know why, but that hearing that sounds right, right? Like I've never seen an otter drink from anything, but for some reason a coconut would be high up on the list of things I would imagine an otter drinks from. And I don't know why. Uh, wow, I want a snow cone for some reason. Dude. Oh, man. I I love snow cones. They are so good. Oh. Uh, Okay, on delete. Um, <laughs> okay, there's this whole thing, which is fine. Uh, here, we're going to run on delete. We're going to optionally call it, assuming it's there. Okay, and then we just, we should... Just need, ooh, I guess if the source, yeah, okay, if movie data, and source equals movie otter, what happened when I'm using it? Hold on. Oh, it's the really long outro to that one song. Okay. Uh, we still need to check 
because we can't add anything unless it has a source of blue yotter but i feel like that should go in the switch statement right i mean that makes sense to me uh if menu if source equals equals movie otter then we'll set poster blah 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 oh what okay so it's saying if we have movie data then we can say poster action Okay. I think so far that's actually correct. Uh, we'll need a new icon. But first, let's actually know the icon's gonna be the easy thing to see that it's different. Uh, is it close? I think it's close around here. Let's try that. I think it's gonna be, I think it's gonna work. I think it's gonna work first time. I think, well, no, not, not first time there because again, I have fat fingers, so, okay. Now, I gotta focus five seconds later. Bro, it's just gonna be drinking from a coconut. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dude, I ought to drink from the coconut. Sounds awesome. Um, okay. Now, let's go to our list. Um, oh. Okay, movie list now needs to take in the same action. Um, action is gonna be, let's see, post, movie poster action. Um, action, let's see, okay. I can see at some point me maybe making this like a, a string or a function that takes in the movie or the index and then you can return a dynamic action. But that that's definitely like over optimizing. Don't do that right now. Territory. Um, action is action. Cool. And I think we do default it to menu. Okay. So back in list, we have these, excuse me, we have our movie list. Um, let's have, excuse me, action. Oh, we also need to pass in on delete when that happens. On delete, oh boy, void. Uh, on delete, and then here on delete is on delete. Okay, thank you. Okay, we're getting here. We're getting here eventually. Uh, list. Okay, action. It's gonna be. Ooh. Editing. menu okay okay oh all right well look at that so far so good um yeah that definitely needs to be changed to like a red color <laughs> um but let's see let's see um so there's that and then on delete let's bring back our good friend butts butts with a Z better butts okay so now I click this you get butts 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 all these butts are working okay if I stop editing and I only go here we get menu and menu behaves correctly. We hit edit, we get taken to this mode, they all switch. Okay, so far so good. We're getting really good at this. Okay, what happens now though is 
We need to say, actually, if I add a movie, let's add, oh man, what's another Star Wars movie? Star Wars movie, Star Wars. Um, Solo. Yep, I definitely never clicked on Solo before. Okay, but it comes in and it comes with that and you get butts. All good, all good. Now, the question is though, is what I should, Neither did anyone else. <laughs> Burn! I actually do want to see it, only because Donald Glover's in it. Uh, are you using a component? Yeah, Peek! Um, I am using this handy dandy library uh, material UI. It's like, you know, uh, they, to a, a library of React components that all conform to Google's material design. Um, super, super handy, super, super useful. Um, boom. Definitely recommend it. Definitely, definitely recommend it. Uh, we use it at work. I use it in my personal project, um, projects and multiple. I will continue to use it going forward. Um, just honestly, I, I would love to play around with like Ant D or, or any of those, but honestly, I feel like I would just move so much faster because I already have a sense of this like component library. Um, like I, I start to understand what people mean by like, you know, don't, the best way to not do something is to continually try to like redo it from scratch kind of thing where it's like, okay, now that I'm like familiar with react and familiar with this, you know, the material UI library and the icons and, and all that kind of stuff, I move so much faster using the same tools. <laughs> it's, it's comical how I just move so much faster. Okay. Um, in fact, I do know how we can change the color of these, um, but I don't know if there's a, a necessarily easy way to do it. So I will, I will do that at the end. That could be something we handle later. Um, oh, give it, look at the time. All right, it's almost 10, it's almost 10. I feel like we can get movies removed and that'll be that'll be a good, a good stop in place. I think that'd be a solid, solid place to stop. Um, on delete what are we gonna do when we delete um hmm oh you know what we actually don't know anything about the thing that's getting deleted so we need to take a step back when this gets oh dude if you're if you're gonna be close to it, then we'll definitely be looking at that. Believe you me, all right? That is not gonna go unwatched. Um Okay. Okay. What we can do I guess we could we could return the movie data. I guess we could return the movie data. The source is always gonna be known, so we don't have to worry about that as much. Um we can return the simple movie data. Let's do that. Uh, movie data. And this is gonna be what was deleted. Okay, if we go to list, we need to update this. Okay, and then if we go to list page, we get data here now. Console.log that data. Right? Oh, that's my that's my time. Um I I think we're gonna go for another let's see. I think I should be able to wrap this up in like 15 to 20, and maybe we can play a little bit of Simulan for a cooldown. I think that sounds good. I think that sounds good. Um, oh, oh, okay. Well, the data's coming back. Oh, that's because we're not actually, whoops. We're not actually passing in that data. You better keep going, I'm almost done. Oh God, all right. Okay, uh, I'm scared now. <laughs> um, okay, action down here on delete. Um, is it just movie data? Is that what I called it? Why is caps lock on? Movie 
This is called movie movie data. Movie data. Okay. When I hit that, cool. Oh, you know what? Yeah, because I don't display any of these actions unless we have movie data, so that's fine. Um, cool, so we have our movie data here. We're getting, oh, it's it's all our nice movie data too. Dope, dope skis. Okay, okay. Um. Hmm. Why is our movie data being a movie? That's weird. But I I know. Uh, I wonder what he's working on this time, dude. At, after Wednesday, I am I am both terrified and completely excited. I have no idea what to expect. <laughs> I just got to make final touches, scale it down, and figure out how to send it. Oh, nice. Okay. All right. Heck yeah, man. Um, cool. So we got that movie data. We got that movie data. We're getting this movie data. Cool, movie data is set. So if we go back here, what we can do is we have our added movie list, right? Right, new movies. Uh, we can have our deleted movies. Set deleted movies. Technically, this is just gonna be simple movie data. Um, and then down here, when they click on butts, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? When they click on, here we go. Instead of login data, we're gonna say set deleted movies uh, to basically we're just gonna push this movie onto our deleted movies array data okay okay still still good so far also why where does solo go oh i refreshed the page so and that was just stored locally don't have to worry about it um okay okay and then now we have to do remove deleted movies from recently added okay Ooh, this is what happens when you save. What I need to do is we have our map, we have our filter. Um, filtering movies that would be duplicates, as well as we need to filter. Oh man. I guess we can run through it one time. You know what? We let's let's be in perform. We're we're gonna be not very performant. Uh, and instead, just do this. What? Why did none of that copy? Copy. Paste. Okay. Uh, filter. Let's see. Deleted movies. Find. So we're gonna have new movies up front that we're at it. We're going to have, oh, actually, when, when we add movies, are we adding it? Yes, we're adding it to the beginning of the list. That's great, okay. Um, we're gonna filter out any new movies that we added from the data that already exists. So technically you could, when you add a movie, it would remove it from the list and just put it back to the front. I think that's right. Um, okay. And then we're also gonna need to remove any deleted movies. Which I think this is literally just the same code. Okay. So if I click that, it should disappear. Sweet, 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 sweet. Oh, we should make these not clickable. That's that would be really, really handy. Or maybe, oh man, no, because in theory, you should totally be able to like command click it, right? 
I don't see why you shouldn't be able to do that. Okay, cool. So that's cool. That's cool and that's working. But none of this is saved because if I refresh, they're all still there. Okay. It's not until you delete stuff and then you hit save that things actually happen. Okay. Okay. Um, and in order to do that, let's actually do this from the batch. Uh, remove, remove deleted items. Okay. Ooh. All right. Um, how, how exactly is this going to work? Um, well, I think we can do it. Uh, I guess let's add movies and then delete movies afterwards. Um, let's see, delete, where's this new items? We already have just the data, so we don't have to worry about that. Okay. Um, deleted movies dot map movie we are gonna um let's see batch dot delete movie otter uh movie list item dot document path for list ID it's gonna be list dot list ID the item ID oh man oh crap hmm <laughs> actually I almost forgot a sky I might not finish ah oh, dude if you don't finish don't if you, if it's late and you're tired don't don't try to sweat it too much, man. We we are gonna stream again come Monday. Uh, happy to happy to to just show it there as well. I don't want you I don't want you stand up too late just to try to try to finish. Um. Okay, get in the document. Oh, we need the list item. Um. Hmm. Well, guess, man. Oh, wait, wait a second. Okay, how about this? How about this? Uh, cuts, movie list item. It's gonna be equal to uh, query data dot find. Uh, a movie where the movies movie ID is equal to movie dot movie ID if movie list item then we're gonna do this batch dot delete List item dot list item list ID. Okay, so that gives us that. Actually, there shouldn't be anything else. Delete just takes a reference. Okay, what is it complaining about here? Type argument string is not assignable to parameter of type. Oh, well, okay. Uh, Firebase dot dot uh, Firestore dot. Actually, didn't I? Oh, I guess I didn't. Uh, dot dock this whole thing. Okay. So what this is saying? Oh, you know what? We also need to handle 
any new items. Because if you add a new item and then you delete it, I need to not create it, even though it will be in the new item list. <sighs> yep. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Um, this is getting a little complicated. Let's see. Actually, uh, you got it. Does anybody, does it annoy anybody else that you can't watch ads to get bits to donate anymore? Hey man, don't, don't even worry about it. I mean, obviously I'm not gonna assume that you're talking about donating here, but please don't ever, I don't want any of you guys to feel like you need to donate. Uh, if you do, greatly, greatly appreciate it. But uh, I, I would love instead, instead of donating bits of stuff, just use Movie Otter. Tell your friends about it. Spread the word. Uh, that that means so so much. Um, obviously, like I said, bits do too, and, and cheers and subs and everything like that. But uh, we are we are currently in quickly approaching the the uh, growth and marketing phase of making Movie Otter, and that is where I'm going to need the most help. <laughs> so, um, man. This is gonna be, this is gonna be a, this is gonna be stupid. Uh, maybe when you add it to delete it, maybe that's what we'll do. Okay, we're gonna do this here. Um, instead of just blindly adding it. Uh. We will say const uh, new movie, new movie deleted. It's gonna be new movies dot find uh, movie where movie dot movie ID is gonna be equal to data dot movie ID. Okay, we're gonna say if new movie deleted, then set new movies to new movies dot filter uh, <laughs> a movie where the movie where where movie ID is not equal to data dot movie ID. Okay, else we will add this the deleted movie. Okay, this should this should this should fix that problem. Because now we don't get we shouldn't get multiple add and deletes here. Um, let's, let's go back to our list and try this out with our test, test list. Okay. So right now I can delete, the list will become empty. I refresh, it's still there. Okay. Um, I delete, oh, you know what? This will also help us test our functions. Let's delete. And if we go back to dev. Oh, you only get like five bits at a time? That's rough. I mean, at that point, I feel like they should just, yeah, they should just remove it. I mean, I, I guess, I don't know. Uh, I don't know how, I guess the, yeah, the ads are generally like 60 seconds, right? Like 40, 30, anywhere between 30 and 60 seconds. That, five, five bits seems a little low if I had to, if I had to guess. Um, okay, movie list, this movie, we have our movies here. This is one movie. Okay, if I save this, this number should go down. This list should become empty. And this whole entry here should just go away. None of that happened. None of those things happened. <laughs> okay. If we refresh, oh, well, if we refresh, it's because that list is, that movie's still there. Why? 
Why is that movie still there? Hmm. Okay, well that's an even more interesting bug. It's time. Oh. Why do you make it sound so ominous, dude? <laughs> oh, I must have reached my limit of ads or something. I used to AFK it. I check back after cooldown to get more. That's that's pretty smart. <laughs> I like that. Um Okay, we're sending the list data. We are then doing a bunch of deletes. Document path for the movie list item is going to be query data dot find a movie where you know what? I guess I don't know what query data looks like. Maybe I'm referencing it wrong. Um, uh, it'd be easier to look down here. Uh, no, no, query data should be just an array of movies. Let's see. Query data. Oh, game process. Thank you. Look at that. We got we got a bit. Nice. We're one step closer to uh, being able to afford to take over the world. And that is exactly what I'm going for. Let's see. Okay, we have our query data. Okay, if I delete and I save, we get errors. Missing or insufficient permissions. Oh, okay, we have a permissions problem. Why do we have a permissions problem? We are trying to remove an item. Um, oh, wait, I think it's, I think it's gotta do with this, with this part. If the request that resource Oh, is it not request? What is it? Man. Uh, is it not request? Let's see. Uh, Firebase delete resource rule rule. Also, I want to buy my Tesla. <laughs> Sent you a bit for your living room. <laughs> oh man. They are cute. They are very cute. Oh, look at a little hobbit. A little unicorn poking out. That is pretty cool. Uh I think I'm gonna go. It is getting late where I am. It's past 12. Dude, that's that's so very late. Don't worry. I thank you. Thank you for stopping by, Fake Potato. Uh we are we will eagerly await what it is you've made. Or are making, or are almost done with. We are eagerly awaiting. Okay. Hello, read, write, if that. Hello. Did it. Hmm. Man, this is, this is this is rough. Maybe I'm not making my my thing right here. Duck. Oh, no. Um. Hmm. You know, I guess we could. If we have simple movie data, then maybe we do need to just make this a movie list, a list of movies. Um, this data that comes in, we will actually say movie otter dot movie from Oh, but it's not really a from document. It's, oh man, this is getting rough. This is getting hard. 
Um, <sighs> no, we have to keep it the way we have it because we can't be sure of our data any more than, than what we have here. Um, missing or insufficient permissions. Let's look at the path. How about that? Let's see what this path is that we're trying to make. Um, console.log path, delete path, delete path. Okay. Let's see. It's query data. Still, it's a list with one item that has, it is at least a simple movie, right? That's the only thing we can guarantee. It's the only thing we probably should guarantee at least. Um, cool. We refresh. Um, okay. If I hit save. Here we go. We are trying to access Oh no, list ID, that's why. Or item dot item ID is what I need. That's why. Or at least that is what I believe to be why. <laughs> um okay, let's start over. I'm I'm feeling good about this. I'm feeling real good about this. Okay, we go to data. Our list. This list, these movies, this movie. Cool, South Park movie. We delete it from here. We hit save. We still got this error. Why? Why do we get this error? Okay, 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 I was wrong little wrong that's okay let's go back uncomment this and actually look at item item ID um, let's see okay we are trying to delete the item at slash movie list so let's look at this path. Let's compare it. Slash movie list. Yep, okay. Uh nine blah 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 blah. Yep. Slash movies slash ex0 blah 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 blah. This item. Okay. It doesn't like that we are trying to delete that. That is the right path. We are getting the right path. Item ID, list ID, document path for movie list item. <sighs> okay, well, let's let's go back to our rules. This must be something with our rules. Well, let's see what this creator ID looks like, actually. Um, movie list, this, the movies, this item. We do have a creator ID. 1v3, yeah, me, that's me. That's all me, it's all my information. Okay. Hmm. Right, creator 1v3. Yep, that's all there. Huh. Is a rule, is a delete rule ran at a different time? Maybe this does. If. Let's see, let's try this. If. Allow create if that. Allow delete 
if maybe resource that data dot creator ID equals request dot auth. Yeah, maybe that's it. Because when you're deleting, you're not actually sending any payload. So maybe it just doesn't understand that part. Okay, let's try. I think that was it. I hope that was it. Because it is also getting late for me here. Okay. So we got count, we got all that. If we save, okay, that deletes. And then that also updates. Sweet. Sweet. Mm, we did it. Nice. Oh boy. Okay. That go. I can edit. Let's edit it. This description. Uh, test. Edited title. Let's add a movie. Um, God, so many, so many weird ones. Uh, maybe not South Park. Let's do The Simpsons. Sim Sim Simpsons movie. Cool. We're gonna load that. And let's also add, let's try two movies now. See if our count still goes up and everything like that. Um it's another movie we can do. Let's do uh Futurama. There was a Futurama movie, right? Yeah, Bender's game. Cool. We added these two, right? We hit save. All this information should be changing. Okay, count goes up to two. Our description is edited. Our title is edited. If we refresh, cool, we get these movies. Let's delete. Oh, let's edit. Let's delete the Simpsons movie. Let's add the Simpsons movie. Just add it back in, See, see what happens. Mmm. Interesting. Okay, I think after we save, that that might be one issue. Okay. We set new movies. We need to also uh, reset deleted movies to be an empty array. Alice, that's gonna stick around, and because the same component is just here, nothing, nothing changes. Okay, we delete the Simpsons movie. We add the Simpsons movie. Still not showing up. Hmm. Don't know why that's not showing up. Let's see. Let's let's see if we can look at our component data um oh boy okay oh it's got to be linked icons movies blah 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 list page content okay our state yeah huh okay Why is this three? That doesn't make any sense. Hold on. Yeah, that's not right. What? All right, well, we got some bugs somewhere, but overall, it's working. Except for when it's not. Add the Simpsons. I think it's added. If I hit save, why is it? Why is it getting added twice? 
That doesn't make any sense. All right, well, I think that's, that's gonna be problem for another time. Um, let's get this saved and then let's, let's play Simulant for a bit as a cooldown. Um, let's see here. Uh, chore, actually, what was my last one? Uh, no, this is uh, uh, chore. Um, delete, deleting movies. Oh God, and this, did you, uh, Pat? Uh, did, did you do what I think you did? Uh, I feel like you did what I think you did. Okay, deleting movies from lists. Um, added the ability, or I guess, what's it? Adds the ability to delete movies from custom lists. Uh, there are some, actually, I guess, just be to do, right? Um, to do fix bugs with uh saving logic uh causes counts to get unsynced okay okay we'll commit this let's push this and cool all right well thank you everyone for joining uh this is the end of the development segment of the stream but it is not the end of the stream yet there's still a little bit more to go uh today we again as always we did a lot of good work we we had like arguably one of our most productive like streams today like there was a lot of little things that we just figured out we nailed it we got through it and i love that i would love to do that every single stream because that's baller um, uh, but we also found some bugs. Uh, we also tested out un unintentionally. We, we put Firebase's rollback hosting, one click rollback hosting to, uh, to the test because last stream I pushed something alive that I probably shouldn't have. It broke some things, but hopefully, hopefully it didn't mess up anything for two one, except for anyone too bad. Uh, words are hard. Words are so hard. Um, but. I do want to thank everyone who stopped by today. Uh, if you only came for developing and coding, uh, I mean, hey, ha have a good weekend. Have a good rest of your night or morning, depending on what time it is and where you're at. But uh, yeah, we're not we're not done yet. Oh, all right. Before you go, I guess there's there's something here I need to I need to share. Let's. Oh, I'm scared. Let me open this off screen first. Uh, just to, just to see what it is we're working with here. Let's see. Oh, look at that. We got our um, movie otter discord made, but God damn it, Pat. You just had to, huh? You just had to put your stupid little beaver. All right, this is the wrong thing. This is wrong. <laughs> you did it wrong. Um, well, hey, now we have a Discord. You guys can all go join it. Uh, well, someone does it. I guess that's true. I guess that is that is fair. Uh, that is actually double fair. Actually, very very fair. Cool. We have a Discord now. You guys can all go join it. Uh, click on that link right there. Um, I will add some cool comments for it for future reference, and we could. We can have a lot of people join it. We can get chatting. We can jump into some. Oh, we have a watch party tab already. Oh, dude, this is also dope. We got programming channels, got text channels. Dude, this is also dope. Thank you so much. Oh my God. A lot of this is, is going to be really, really helpful. We have our come here first. There's a lot of stuff here already. Dude, thank you so much. That's awesome. What happened to that photo of Isaiah with the otter nose? <laughs> oh man, I hope that photo gets just lost. Lost forever. Do you mean the one that's at like on Film Beaver? Uh, where's where's my my screen? No, nope, that's not it. Where is it? Here, here? No, nope. is it here? This one. The 
this. <laughs> Honestly, if this was the logo, I wouldn't be upset. I wouldn't be upset at all. <laughs> if this is... Shout out to Jedi for the... Yeah, dude, Jedi. Th thank you both. You guys, you guys freaking killed it just now with this. Dude, this is so awesome. I'm so excited for this. I am so excited for this. Yes, and I, and I love, honestly, I love that you guys have uh, the programming channels, right? I think that is honestly one of the best things to be able to just jump in, chat with people about whatever various questions they might have or anything like that. That's all super dope. Um, let's see. Oh, what is this? That needs to be the logo. <laughs> oh, peak. Yes, I'm, I'm sure. I mean, hey, maybe, maybe, hopefully, I have no idea. Hopefully, I could become a mod in the Discord. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, we could tell. Well, I guess they they still have the picture. So either way, I would, they would, somebody else would have to do it. But, um, dude, this is so cool. This is so cool. This is super dope. I'm so happy. I'm so excited. Um, yeah, man, I'm so excited. We get to now just chat and talk movies and stuff. Um, I am now. Sweet. All right. Well, I I'll find the image, or, or maybe we can. Hey, we could even see see what's to come. Um, like I said, we have the whole weekend ahead of us for me to play around with Illustrator and a bunch of other things. Maybe mess more around with uh, After Effects and everything like that. So this is dope. This is super exciting. Um, I am now even extra more excited to try and plan what what our next uh, watch party is going to be. Um, thinking we could do one next week. Maybe we should do one like every Friday or something or every, I don't know. How, how do you guys feel? How do you guys, what do you guys think? Um, let me know. You can join the discord in a general chat, maybe. Yeah. Maybe in general, we, we can talk and discuss about when should we have some scheduled hosts like watch parties. I'd be, I'd be done to talk about that. Events. Oh, there's an event. What? There's an event. Holy crap, I just totally missed that part. That, yes, we can jump, everyone can. I know, I'm sorry. Info and future events. I'm, look, I'm, I didn't even know this was a thing until you linked it. I, I gotta now learn all about Discord more, right? You see how many different servers I'm on and none of them I ever click on? Now I have one that I can actually recur to, like, like come back to all the time. Did all that work? <laughs> Dude, the work. Honestly, this work did not is not lost on me. This is this is super dope. I'm super excited. It's Steve Joy. We got Steve. Is this Minecraft Steve? I like that. I like that photo. That's super dope. Um, yeah, dude. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Cerebro. I gotta now. I, I feel like I need to change my uh, my film beaver command to be just ever so slightly nicer. Like not full on nice, right? But just nicer. <laughs> Um, but cool. Yes. Thank you guys for stopping by. Please go join the discord. We'll chat it up. We'll the beaver. <laughs> I just got this. Uh <laughs> oh my God. Yes. Can that please be your nickname from now on in regards to anything this related? You just be the beaver. The beaver sees all. <laughs> Oh my god, this is so good. That is so amazing. Um, I'm excited. Uh, thank you again, everyone. Um, we're gonna end the dev portion and move over to our cool down.